Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can calculate a future date. So let's say we want to have the date three days into the future. And display it. So today is the 22nd February and three days from today is the 25th. And of course we can do the same changes to year, month, second, minute, hour. I will put the link to the code of this example into the description box and let's start. For this example I have already prepared the button and the text view you just saw, so we save some time with that and can focus on the important part. So when I click the button, we execute this getDate method here. And in here we want to get the current date, the date in the future, and we want to display it in our text view. And we do manipulations and calculations on dates with help of the calendar class. This one here, java.util, not the Android one, the Java one. We call our calendar Z, and we get it with calendar, again with capital Z, dot get instance. And this calendar we get back will be set to the current date. To see this, let's save the current date in a date variable, date today equals c.getTime. This getTime method returns a date, which we can save in the state object. And now we want to calculate our future date. For this, we take our c calendar variable and call .add. And here we first have to pass an integer field. Don't get confused by the integer value. We want to pass a constant here, calendar with capital Z dot. And here, as you can see, we have different constants which have different integer values, which represent each a part of the calendar. If we want to add days to our calendar, for example, three days from now, we have to take this one here, date, which has the value 5. Then we write a comma, and then we have to pass the amount of days we want to add to it. So for example, let's say we want to add three days. We pass a 3, and let's also add one month and one year to it, so you can see this as well. This time we take calendar.month, and we add 1 and c dot add calendar dot year and we add one here as well and again we save our date in a date object we call a date future equals and again we write c dot get time because now our calendar is not set to today anymore instead it's set to a today plus three days one month and one year and this is what we will get back when we call get time on this calendar now so let's display both dates in our text viewer set text today colon plus today plus now I add a line break like this and append future colon space plus and our future date and this will automatically turn our date objects into strings and append it so let's see what we get so we click the button and we have our current date which is 22nd February the correct time the correct year and the future date is one month into the future, March, three days, 25th, and one year, 2019. If you want to know more about date and time, for example, how to format it properly, or how to use the calendar widgets, I will put a playlist on that into the end card of this video, so you can watch this as well. And if this video was helpful, please leave a like. Take care.